Oh, two points on Mazep. He's got a fantastic reputation in the men's game on the continent. They've been uh, African champions five times. The ladies now looking to emulate them, having taken the Congolese national title earlier this year and then won the Central African qualifying competition to reach the Champions League proper. Second game of the evening in Marrakesh in Group B of the 2022 CAF Women's Champions League. And it's a big one between uh, Tupiso Mazempe and Bielsa Queens. The team's coming out here. And uh, a possible semi final place up for grabs this evening. And Tupi Mazempe can make it two wins from two. turning out for this one and of course there's uh, the possibility that one of these teams might end up crossing paths with the Moroccan side in the next uh, phase FAR Rabat will be on their way through to the knockout stages and uh, Mamelodi Sundowns primed to advance as well after their 5-0 defeat of Wadi Degla earlier let's see what TP Mazembe and Bielsa Queens can do here this evening TP Mazembe starting off with a 1-0 win against that Wadi Degla side on the opening day on Monday when they uh, took an early lead through uh, Merve Kanjinga. There are just two changes to the starting lineup for the uh, Congolese champions this evening. They are in force changes. Monke Mami went off injured in the first uh, half of that game and so she is replaced by Yvonne Obonga who came on for her off the bench against Wadi Degla. That comes in the defence and the other change comes uh, further forward Justine Buzu is uh, suspended after being sent off late on against uh, Wadi Degla Giselle Mujinga comes in and uh, she might well play in the left back position in the back four this evening that would mean that the number 11 Imrod uh, Mawanda will play further forward Merve Kanjinga look out for her the number 10 who scored the winning goal against uh, Wadi Degla Kamabaka Naomi was a constant threat in that game as well Officials uh, this evening are from Morocco. Fatima Zahra Najani, the referee, and uh, the VAR officials are with us as well. We do have video assistant referees in uh, this competition. VAR call, of course, which led to Justine Bouzou of TP Mazembe being sent off here in their opening game. Bielsa Queens making just the one change, and blessing Ilivieda is the player who drops to the bench this evening for them. Roma Joseph, the number 18, coming in. We expect her to play in the left back position, this side uh, captained by Uzoamaka Igwe. Thomas Gabriel Baou, the Cameroon international in goal. Uh, what is broadly expected to be a 4-4-2 formation. Look out for Flourish uh, Sabastin, the number 20, who was nominated for the CAF Young Player of the Year prize, the goal scorer for them in their opening game against Mamelodi Sundowns, uh, Miri Anjor, who came off the bench to score in that game, starts on the bench again this evening. So we're underway then in the uh, second game of the day in Group B in this year's CAF Women's Champions League. TP Mazempe looking to make it two wins out of two to secure their place in the semi-finals with one group game to spare. And up against the Nigerian champions by Elsa Queens who are looking for their first points of the campaign. And immediately, 20 seconds into the game, 
big decision for the referee to make. The player going down in the penalty box. And he appeals for the penalty. The referee making the immediate decision to point to the spot. And, uh, well, Domo Okara, well, might he look at his watch. Right from the off here. By Elsa Queens pushing forward. There was the challenge. It was Juliet Sunday who was caught by Alphonsine Kapinga, the TP Mazembe defender. The ball had uh, got away from her. It was a late challenge, a clumsy one. And the Moroccan referee awarding the penalty immediately here. A dramatic start to this game. Certainly not the start that uh, Marcelo Catiampa, the TP Mazembe coach, <laughs> was expecting, far less uh, hoping for. His team uh, took an early lead in their opening game and held on after that to take the points. Domo Akara saw his side uh, only manage a late consolation against Mamelodi Sundowns. Well, they'll have the chance to get an early breakthrough here. This one will be checked, of course, by the VAR before being confirmed. That was the reward for Bielsa Queens for setting off on the attack immediately from kickoff. Of course, uh, Juliet Sunday undergoing some treatment here. It does seem to be in some real pain. This is the ball in again from Izinagu. It was an excellent first touch, and uh, she was caught. Alphonsine Kapinka. The left ankle, I think. Yeah. She does immediately go down and clutch uh, the left uh, leg just above the ankle. Morgan referee just reminding Brigitte and Gamita to make sure she stays on her line. Juliet Sunday being helped off the pitch at the moment. She will remain there as the penalty is taken. That's a good step. Looking for the early breakthrough here. From the penalty spot. It's into the net. The goalkeeper got a big touch to it. But Ogoma Joseph. Brought into the starting lineup this evening. We breathe a sigh of relief. By Elsa Queens in front here. An incredible start to this game. Not the most convincingly struck penalty. And Brigitte and Camita is very disappointed with herself for not keeping it out. She did get a very big hand on it. The effort from Ogoma Joseph ends up in the back of the net. Prosperity girls lead here as they look for their first points in Group E. Well, the goal timed in the fourth minute from uh, Ogoma Joseph, but that only tells half the story because the uh, game was barely 20 seconds old when the infringement took place. Mazembe hadn't even made it into the opposition half. Juliet Sunday finally able to make her way back onto the field. She does seem to be okay. She will try to at least run off that knock to the ankle. early setback for TP Mazembe. 1-0 winners against Wadi Degla. They really should have won that game by a bigger margin. <laughs> to make sure that they uh, don't panic here. Falling behind is, of course, a long way to go. Certainly in terms of excitement heading into the last uh, matches in the group, it would Blow things wide open if uh, Pielsa Queens get the result this evening. 
TP Mazempe still having to play Mamelodi Sundowns. Paul is helped on by Flourish uh, Sabastin. A reminder that you can follow all the action on social media using the hashtag CAFWCL. This second edition of the CAF uh, Women's Champions League. Who will succeed at Mamelodi Sundowns as the Queens of Africa? Will it be the Sundowns themselves? Corey Edith uh, holding that behind for the first corner of the game. short cleared away by the Nigerians who now have a chance to break here lots of space to run into driving forward into the penalty box Sunday lays it back looking for Izinagu free kick given against her by Elsa Queens and Izinagu the number 10 who set up the uh, chance for Sunday and led to the penalty and Sunday trying to return the favour excellent running from her into the box Fossin <laughs> Kabinka Bit of an issue here for TP Mazempe again because uh, the right back Belanke in Zumpa has gone down. Senor Kadiampa's side, of course, are not used to having things go against them. Dominant force in uh, their domestic competition. Bad start to this game this evening. And, uh, well, I'm not sure this is going to tell us much about what happened to Belanke in Zumba because. She went down there with uh, nobody close to her. Nabe Kunjinga sets off on the run, asking a lot of Kawabaka Naomi. Naomi again, returning it to Kunjinga. Free kick given. Zumba seems to be okay. She's uh, got up again. Zumba did uh, a lot of getting up and down the pitch in the opening match against uh, Wadi Degla. <laughs> Taking the early lead here, but Tipima Zempe now with a chance themselves. It was a floating effort from Michanel Kiteko which had Bau scrambling to turn it over the bar. Uh, Rishanel Kiteko was the outstanding player on the pitch in uh, Tipi Mazembe's opening victory. And uh, that shot nearly sailing in. Another corner then. To TP Mazempe. Konami among the players waiting in the middle, and it's confidently claimed by Bau. By Elsa Queen's goalkeeper. to the right hand side for Flori Edet who will send it long downfield one in the air by Kapinga Being eager to make up for giving away the penalty Argentina and Galula the uh, TP Mazembe captain The Queen certainly hoping to do better than their compatriots, uh, Rivers Angels, who uh, went out in the group stage last season after losing their first two matches. Challenge 
to Nerve Kanchinka. Forward by Obonga, collected by Idet. Zinagu. Good running again from Izinagu and the assistant referee's flag waving on the far side. The free kick is given. Izinagu taking on the defender for pace and uh, winning her side the free kick. Understandably, some concerned looks. Uh, the faces on the TP Mazembe bench. So I don't want to concede a second goal this early in the game. High hanging cross, an awkward one for the goalkeeper who does claim it well. Through Central African qualifying, they beat AS Hawa of uh, Cameroon in the final of that qualifying competition played in Malabo in Equatorial Guinea in September. Cariampo's team trailing after the very early penalty kick and uh, by Elsa Queens uh, nearly in again. That ball helped on by Ipo Amalu. Space here on the left hand side for Bayelsa Queens. Ipo Amalu, good defending, but it's uh, come back to Ogoma Joseph. Tom, lead away. Comes up to Edith, who uh, hits it first time, and it's a slightly wild attempt. By Elsa Queen's uh, defender. So if you look at the performances of the respective national teams, Nigeria, the top ranked side on the continent. The Republic of Congo, quite right a way down the list. Nigeria may have the greater pedigree at international level, albeit, of course. If they're leading players now paced outside the country. It's up to clubs like Bielsa Queens to produce the next uh, big stars from Nigeria. They may go on to try and for broad, but Bielsa Queens would hope that they can keep their best players for long enough to perhaps enjoy success at continental level. Some very promising young players in this team. Melve Kanjinga for TP Mazempe driving into the box. Checks back, uh, looking for an option in the middle. It's nodded down, might just fall for Kiteko. And then her shot uh, looked like it was deflected over, but the referee has given the goal kick here. And she will, of course, uh, be in contact with the VAR. The suggestion is maybe that it could be possible penalty shout here looked like it was purely accidental on first viewing the boot is quite high there but doesn't seem to be any contact Kamabaka Naomi the player who went down Faber Emanuel with the challenge and the referee uh, just telling Bau the goalkeeper to wait before uh, continuing with the action that one undergoing the Scrutiny of the VAR, but nothing given. Hello, 
possible offside actually when that ball was first played through to Kanjinga. Strong play in midfield from favourite Manuel. Again, Pyles of Queens looking to the running of Isinagu on the right. Really good play from her. And uh, a crucial block from Obonga in the middle. Obonga staying down. She took that uh, painfully in the stomach, I think. And the referee will stop the action to go across and check on the TP Mazempe defender. See this again, excellent ball out to the right for the on rushing Mizinagu. But, uh, well, she may be perhaps uh, winded there, right uh, in the midriff. Rivono Bonga. team being ranked uh, highly of course the uh, last uh, women's half corn was held here in Morocco in July South Africa the champions beating the hosts 2-1 in the final one of uh, more than 50,000 fans in Rabat Nigeria painfully missing out they lost uh, on penalties to Morocco in the semis well, then that ball might just fall for a TP Mazembe player Zester Dikisha, who was lurking. By Elsa Queens, get it clear. Once again, pushing forward down that right hand side. Terrific pace. Again, the player waiting in the middle, completely unmarked here with a chance to make it number two. Ipuamalu's effort saved by Brigitte Ngamita. On a lightning fast breakaway from the Nigerians space again to run into on their right hand side Juliet Sunday was too fast and really Boamalu should have scored the first touch didn't really set her up perfectly it's a let off uh, for TP Mazembe Field by Brigitte Gavita. Top by Kanjinga. Space here for Kamabaka Naomi. No cross into the middle. And still fall for the uh, attempt on goal. It was Mawanda who hit it and uh, it's off target. Big chance for Tipi Mazembe again. And the chance is coming at either end now. Emote uh, Mawanda. Pushed into more attacking role today it was the initial effort from Dikisha that was blocked no wonder shot deflected wide it was now, again organizing her defense 20 minutes in here at Marrakesh TP Mazembe looking for the equalizer up by Dikisha Galula by 
Elsa Queens leading 1-0 thanks to the early Ogoma Joseph penalty. And here they come again, running into space on that right-hand side. Ball in towards uh, Juliet Sunday, but it was too close to the goalkeeper. Every time there is uh, so much space on the right flank. Izinagu and Sunday wreaking havoc on that occasion. It was Ginieri Igboamalu trying to pick out a teammate in the middle. Hervé Kanjinka, the main goal threat in this TP Mazembe team. The header is well over the bar from Emerald Mawanda. She was uh, completely unmarked. The grimace on her face suggests that she feels she should have done much better. A couple of opportunities now to have fallen her way. Strong play in the midfield from Pielsa Queens once again. There's the first time shot. Really well struck. Straight at the goalkeeper. Buamalu threatening again. Shot was on target. Just looking stronger team in the centre of the park, the Nigerians. Way through the first half here. Space again on the right for Marianne Mizunaku. Away from full back with ease. Cleared by Kapinga. Well, we got the warning, TP Mazembe, in the first uh, 20 seconds of the game. The penalty came from the move down the right hand side, straight from the kickoff. There are no signs that they really know how to handle the pace and running power by Elsa Queens on that side of the pitch. for TP Mazembe does look to be attack they do look dangerous themselves when they can get forward once again fullback caught out of position though Juliet Sunday now coming in from the left squaring it into the middle it has to be surely at the second attempt Tipo Amalu scores and it's 2-0 for Bielsa Queens they're rewarded for a superb start to this game They've looked absolutely rampant every time they've got upfield. They've been left so much space to run into. They threatened to run right tonight, leading by two goals already. Didn't look to be any possibility of an offside against Juliet Sunday. She won the penalty in the first minute of the game and she set up the chance there for her attacking partner, Ipo Amalu. The first effort straight at the goalkeeper. Uh, the second one, no mistake, into the roof of the net. And there is daylight between the teams already. to a goal as uh, lingered on the replay. Information of the score in Puamalu. And her name on the score sheet. Tiki Mazembe clearly rattled. This was running again from Juliet Sunday, just poking it towards goal.
way to go. TP Mazembe realise if they can get the next goal, they can still turn this around, but simply by the Queens looking so dangerous every time they get into the uh, final third. Next Sunday, once again, leading her way into space. Mazempe there, Michel El Quinteco. A decision from the Moroccan referee. Tuta in favour of Manuel, middle of the park for the Nigerians. Looking very strong. It's uh, that it came off the referee, is why the game was halted. To drop ball to restart proceedings. Zumba. Sabastin, excellent first touch from the youngster. Disappointing attempt. Uh, Sabastin. Bouncy Queens came through the Western African Zone B qualifying competition in the Ivory Coast. End of August, the beginning of September. Games just to take their place in the group stage. The, uh, qualifying competitions not uniform all across the continent. Almost seven teams involved in uh, their zone. And the Queens unbeaten in their group and then uh, cruising through the knockouts. Six against uh, Espoir FC of. Benin and then a 3 0 win against Ampem Darkoa of uh, Ghana in the final two months ago. And they come again. Buamalu trying to lay it back to Tuta. TP Mazembe really struggling to lift their heads and get back into this game since conceding that second goal. Henry Kongjing has given away the free kick now. The challenge on Casali. Nancy Queen's doing uh, their home city. For Yenagoa, and the state of Bielsa proud, and doing the whole of Nigeria proud. Their performance in the first half this evening. Really important for them to get a result here. To set them up for the final round of group games. from Marcelo Candiampa, the coach, that all is not well. Giselle Mujinka really struggling on that left-hand side. Apinjunga, six is the player coming on. Sunday. Again, questions uh, to be asked about the defending from TP Mazembe. The angle was very difficult. You could see Izinagu in the middle. I think she felt that that ball could have been played to her. Trail here against Bielsa Queens. Did have a 
chances the uh, Congolese side in between the two goals they let in. Since falling 2-0 down, there's not been that much of a response. They do seem rather shell-shocked. Joseph, high ball downfield. Just the cross in, the goalkeeper aware of the presence of two yellow shirts close by, just helping that ball on its way. Sunday again. Excellent footwork from her. Dangerous ball into the middle. Once again, the keeper can't hold on to it. The shot blocked and the follow up over the bar. Well, it could have probably should have been 3 0. Flourish Sebastien with the effort, which was blocked initially, and it's uh, Tuta. Hits the follow up over the bar. Once again, Juliet Sunday doing really well. Once again, Brigitte Camita, the goalkeeper, unable to hold uh, across. It's an absolute crucial block on the line to keep TP Mazempe in this game. You feel it 2 0, they've still got a chance. 3 0, surely it would be game over. side from Pyles of Queens, that was the previous ball in from Corey Edith, Gavita just did enough that time. Problem here for the Nigerians, uh, treatment required. She went down. Forward by Joseph. Convincing defending again. Look out for the running on that right flank once more from Izinagu. Incredibly lively first half performance from Marianne Izinagu. approach would be different tonight. They've certainly taken the game to TP Mazempe. Aware of the weaknesses in the opposition defence. Here's an Agu again. Sunday peeling out to that right flank every time. Trying to get the cross in. Dealt 
tackled by Obonga. Joseph, score of the penalty. Touch on by Di Kisha. Kisha has it again. Chanel Kiteko. Player of the match uh, against Marty Degla. It's been a very different uh, battle for her in midfield tonight. Bielsa Queens are dominating in that area. Here they come again. Flooding forwards. Interception by Nzumba. Jinka. Naomi. Naomi was a little bit wasteful at times in the opening game. Struggling to get into this match. Works it across to Merve Kanjinka. Plays the one two and well, not sure if she meant that as a shot or if she was trying to catch out Bau. She very nearly did. Turned behind by the goalkeeper for another corner. That's better from Kanjinga. Linking up with the substitute up in Jonga. Comes the corner. Coming away under pressure. Picked up again by Nzumba. Well, but Bielsa Queen's defence standing firm. Naomi looking for Merve Kanjinka. Flag is up. Side against Kanjinga, the flag can eventually coming up at the end of the attack. Tipima Zempe making that substitution half an hour into the game, taking off Giselle Mujinka, and that meant Beatrice Apenjonga coming on. Emerald Mawanta reverting back to the full back position. She seems to be staying. Jonga and further forward since her introduction. Uh, she gets a touch on that ball. Picked up by Favre Emmanuel again into space on the right hand side. This time, Alfonso Capinga is there to clear. That's the first time shot, which is speculative at best. Into trouble, Brigitte Camita in goal. trying to shot from long range but difficult to generate the power needed without any proper back lift to trouble Bau in goal <laughs> 
Zumba with the touch to Kanjinga and Zumba continuing her run. It's good defending from Logoma Joseph. Queens two. It could have been more than two. The Nigerians uh, passing up uh, a couple of very decent chances to extend their lead. Some hesitant defending and goalkeeping on the Congolese ranks. Whereas Sebastian loses out to the uh, captain Galula, and uh, this is Nobe Kanjinka. Naomi Tepima Zembe sadly discovering that Bielsa Queens are a very different level of opponent compared to what they faced against Wadi Degla. <laughs> Comes the cross and a really good header that time from Kalabaka Naomi. Tipped over the bar by the goalkeeper. It was uh, right at the goalkeeper, but nonetheless, there was real power in that effort from the TP Mazembe player. Will be another corner. Excellent cross in from Kanjinga from her position on the right hand side. And, uh, very nearly a precious goal back just before half time here. Queens looking to break again. The pass from Sabastin cut out. Zumba. Once more looking for Kanjinga up ahead on that right flank. The cross comes in. Pinjonga. Jinga once more. She is the main source of goals in this TP Mazembe team. Playing more the role of creator this evening. Look out for the breakaway. Someday will settle for the throw. Referee, uh, with Tina Galula, the TP Mazembe captain. It's going to be a big uh, half-time team talk from Marcelo Cadiamba, the TP Mazembe coach. He tries to lift his side. Mawanda. The 45 minutes have nearly come and gone. There should be a bit of time added on, of course, uh, given the couple of minutes uh, stoppage before the penalty was taken right at the beginning of the game. Just the one minute being added on. <laughs> Time for one more attack here from Bielsa Queen before the interval. Juliet Sunday breaking into the box and that time Ivona Bonga standing up to her. Joseph just eating up the seconds now. Of uh, indecision, though. Naomi. Really 
cost uh, by Elsa Queens. They get the ball scrambled away to safety. Still sense that TP plus MBR are a threat when they get forward, just really susceptible themselves at the other end. And, uh, referee reaching into a pocket here. It's a card show. And then Michel Kiteko is the player who's been cautioned. Why the uh, swinging hand in the face? Painful one for Lori Edith, the Wilson Queens player. Struggling to get back to her feet, she will get some treatment, I'm sure, in the dressing room at half time if needed. That is the end of the first half action here in Marrakesh. The first half which has gone. Just as Bielsa Queens uh, would have wanted it. A dream start for them, winning the penalty with barely 20 seconds on the clock. Gorman Joseph converting from the spot and then Ipo Amalu making it 2 0 midway through the first half. They uh, had a couple of excellent chances to add to their lead. TP Mazempe threatening themselves at times at the other end, but they've got a bit of a mountain to climb now in the second half here. The uh, score at the break TP Mazempe 0, Bielsa Queens 2. at the half-time statistics in Pylsa Queen's very much on top 55 percent possession in terms of uh, total attempts on goal TP Mazembe standing up well 12 attempts compared to 11 for the Nigerians but you can see that Pylsa Queen's have had more attempts on target looking more threatening more often even if uh, all the corners have come at the other end of the field the yellow card uh, can will need to update it because we saw the yellow flash to Rishanel Kuteko TP Mazempe just before the halftime whistle came, but uh, a lot of work to do for the Congolese side in the second half here as they trail by two goals to nil. Stunning start to the game for Bielsa Queens, winning the penalty right from the kickoff. The challenge from Alphonsine Kapinga and uh, Juliet Sunday, the player who was brought down. Goma Joseph stepping up to take the penalty, not a convincingly struck spot kick, it has to be said. And Brigitte and Kamita got a big hand to it, but nevertheless, the ball ending up in the back of the net, and that was 1 0 for Bielsa Queens. An absolutely superb start to the game for them. And the Nigerians uh, were a constant threat every time they got forward, always getting into space in the full-back areas. Juliet Sunday squaring it to Ipo Amalu, whose initial effort was saved by Brigitte Ngamita, but she was on hand to convert the follow-up and make it 2-0. That just passed the midway point in the first half. Credit to Juliet Sunday as well for always being a threat with the ball at her feet.
Santa Marrakesh is half time in the second game of the evening in the uh, Camp Women's Champions League in Group B. Bielsa Queens of Nigeria leading by two goals to nil against TP Mazembe. The Bielsa Queens players are back out, ready to go in the second half as they look for their first win here in Morocco. of the two-goal lead, the Ogoma Joseph penalty in the fourth minute, and then Ipo Amalu following up to score after her initial effort had been saved by Brigitte Gamita in the TP Mazembe goal. Uh, a 2 0 lead, it could have been more than that, they did have other chances, uh, TP Mazembe threatening on a couple of occasions themselves at the other end, and uh, you'd imagine that there are still more goals in this game, certainly TP Mazembe having to chase it, they already left a lot of spaces in behind in the first half, they're going to have to push forward and leave spaces again in the second half. The uh, fans are here of all ages this evening in Marrakesh, and uh, TP Mazembe have been hoping to clinch a place in the semi-finals with a win tonight, well they've got a lot of work to do in the second half if they're to do that here tonight. We go again then. TP Mazembe set the ball rolling in the second half. Congolese champions, Central African qualifiers for this uh, year's second edition of the CAF Women's Champions League. Up against it, and really made that change in the first half as well, responding to Giselle Bujinka's difficulties in the left back position by sending off Beatrice uh, Apinjonga. Number six and uh, moving Emerald Mawanda back into the left back role. Bielsa Queens won that penalty barely 20 seconds into the first half. Mazembe have already survived a bit longer than that in this second half, but the Nigerians on the front foot again. Such a live wire down that right hand side. Side. Just a simple ball forward here, which is well in between the two TP Mazembe centre backs. Struggling to clear their lines. Still alive for Ipo Amalu. And eventually Brigitte Ngamita makes the save. But just a simple ball forward. Caught out the two central defenders. And uh, Brigitte Ngamita scrambling initially. And uh, an easy enough save. What about that for a little kick out from Marianne Izinagu? Nothing given. Nothing given there either. Kanjinka driving towards goal. Do with some support here. Teammate arriving on the edge of the penalty box. Chanel Kiteko. Going considerably tougher this evening in that uh, TP Mazembe midfield. I do wonder what Marcelo Kadiampa would have said to his players at the interval to try and lift their spirits. The uh, Congolese champions. Just across to the far side here. Sebastien is the player down. Well, the referee didn't give anything, this was the challenge. Sebastien's uh, foot caught by the tackle from Esther Dikisha. Simply 
substitutes around warming up here at the stadium in uh, Marrakesh, which does have the athletics track around it as well. Problems for the fullback. Getting across the cover. It's going to be a long throw then from Gori Edet. Kanjinka. Hashtag Kath WCL, remember. Right up, right the uh, action. Right up, right up. Competition here in Morocco on uh, usual social media channels. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Kanjinka lays it back. Mazembe that they don't concede a second or third goal. Imagine that it really would go down then. 3 0 would be uh, surely impossible for them to come back from. Paul Kara promised a different approach from his team uh, this evening. And, uh, it's looking good for Bielsa Queens after they lost 2 1 to Mamelodi Sundowns in their opener. Sundowns team who won 5 0. Earlier today against uh, Buddy Degla. Very convincing result. Buddy Degla's hopes uh, at an end. It's going to be a second consecutive group stage exit for them, surely. Just they can uh, finish on his three points. Of course, the Bayern Queens win here. They will join TP Mazembe on three points. Then three teams could finish tied on three points. Not fully cleared, and the shot is high and wide. Robert Joseph, the scorer of the added penalty. Zumba. Sebastien just at the moment swapped sides with Izinagu to keep the team people sent a uh, full pack to guessing. Emmanuel to Tuta. Week 
Cambridge on Sunday. In uh, Rabat, the Moroccan capital. Already some players looking to defend their title. Followed by Naomi. Sundowns winning the inaugural Women's Champions League last year in Cairo and South Africa winning the Men's AFCON here in Morocco earlier this year beating the hosts in the final. Finding the $400,000 in prize money up for grabs as well as the trophy. about the shot from range, straight into the arms of Bridget and Camita again. Such a threat though, Juliet Sunday. Playing on the number six, but uh, playing in that attack, dropping deep, uh, peeling out wide and running at the defenders. Too far in front of Galula, collected by Tuta, Tuta continuing the run. Who skips away from the first challenge? Back to Joseph, as the cross up into the penalty box. Emmanuel dispossessed by uh, Kiteko. It's better from the TP Mazembe number eight. Shortage of skill. Size in that midfield. She is uh, an excellent player when she's on her game. She's kind of going tough at times this evening, but keeping us at bay. Just about still in this contest. Forward by Zinandu for 
Buamalu. Jinka, Naomi. Goes to Jinka again. Out! She got the break of that ball, but just ran out of space on that far side. Now Vekan Jinka, score of the winner, Kinsmani Degla, score of uh, four goals in the qualifying campaign. Top score in the domestic league, Democratic Republic of Congo last season. Sunday has been one of the biggest threats on the field this evening. That was her shot a short while ago. Skipping away from the first challenge. And, uh, trying to pick her spot in the corner. Coming up to the hour mark here at Marrakesh. Impressive showing from the Nigerian champions. of the uh, AFCO earlier in the year means that Nigeria will be at the expanded FIFA Women's World Cup uh, next year in Australia and New Zealand in July and August one of the four African representatives in the 32 team competition so we recently had the draw just uh, at the end of last month and uh, Nigeria very tough group with one of the hosts, Australia. A very strong Canada team as well as the Republic of Ireland who will be there for the first time. We'll start off against the Canadians on the 21st of July next year. What a tough game that's going to be. Canada, the Olympic champions, of course, last year in Tokyo. Faber Emanuel driving towards the penalty box. Shane back off her and into the arms of Brigitte Tengamita. A problem for Rishanel Kiteko. Is she going to be able to carry on? Elsa Queen substitutes out warming up now. see Anjor at some point the uh, player who scored the goal after coming off the bench against Mamelodi Sundowns to be an excellent side as well this evening. They've already shown up well against the Sundowns in their opening match. Control at the moment. Back to Bau. Cool play from her. Ukwe. This is uh, Joseph. Picked up by Zumba. Shot over the crossbar. Well, she could have squared it perhaps. She had support alongside her, but you can understand why Marianne is in Agu fancy to go at goal herself. Excellent running initially. But, uh, it was Boamalu returned the ball to the number 10 here is in Agu. 
There was the support alongside her from Sabastin. A beautiful look uh, across to her teammate from Sabastin as that shot was prodded over the bar. This is Juliet Sunday trying to skip away from Ivono Bonga to by Kanjinka. It's a Queen's player who has gone down and stayed down. Is looking to take advantage of having the extra player on the attack here. Kanjinka back the way to Palanke and Zumba. in behind a big chance to pull a goal back and she just hesitated but uh, had allowed Gloria to come back and close her down the uh, offside flag eventually coming up maybe now we'll see the treatment we'll see clearly that uh, Anjinka was a long long way offside when that ball was played I think she knew it stood on the uh, toe of Bau, the goalkeeper. It'd be very painful one. Boots these days uh, don't really offer too much protection. Required for the Cameroonian goalkeeper. Still 2-0 by Elsa Queen's lead here. Unable to add to that advantage in the second half. from the knock and uh, had to collect the ball with a quarter of this game remaining. It's a queen it's, uh, cruising at the moment. It's a TP Mazembe player down at the moment. Away by Alphonsine Kapinga. Junga, who was uh, caught. Mazembe need to change something. If they are to salvage anything from this game, just waiting for Junga to receive the treatment to see if she's going to be okay to carry on. change here. Yeah, Magdalene 
Ravenjaw as one of the players getting ready to come on. Jumba to come off the pitch before being allowed to back onto the field. Mazembe down to 10 temporarily. It's away by Kapinka. Hunt on by Nzumba. Emmanuel managing to nick that ball away from the toe of the opponent and winning the free kick in the process. The referee now will harp in Jumba to come back on, and I think we're going to see substitutions imminently. Manuel and uh, Monella Tuta alongside her, they've strolled through this game really. Double substitution being made now. Machinieri Boamalu is uh, making her way across the score of the second goal midway through the first half. And Miriam uh, John plays up on the score of the goal against Mamalogi Sitan for the bad player to be able to bring on. Flourish Sabastin, such a promising young talent, of course, nominated for the CAF Young Player of the Year. He's the other one who comes off with Mercy Itimi on in her place. forward that causes problems for the TP Mazembe defence. Played back by Messi Itimi looking for a substitute and Jor. Control on the chest. Space for Itimi. 
important interception for the defender because otherwise Merci Itimi would have been right in on goal. Too comfortable. It's a great set. Do with that third goal just to put this contest to bed. As long as it's just 2 0, there is hope for TP Mazempe. Jinka in the middle, but oh, does well. Very solid in goal for the Nigerians this evening. Way Amalodi sometimes will be goes top of the group on six points. Bayelsa Queens will join TP Mazempe on three points apiece and join the head to head advantage against the Congolese side and having the better goal difference as well for what it's worth. And Bobby Dengler will be bottom of the section with no points and uh, no goals scored either. But, uh, I have to say that we've seen this evening but, uh, all the games thus far. By Elsa Queens to get the better of Mani Degla. Match day three as the low cross comes in, collected by Brigitte and Gamita. Again, 
Obau. It's pretty comfortable this evening. That was the chance at the other end. He tees ball in. Jaw. Swing at it. Making contact. Zubrak certainly came off second best. Challenge, I think, although uh, a bit of concern here for the Pants of Queen's goalkeeper as well. He left uh, ankle. Causing her some problems. Super Bales of Queens will blow the group wide open heading into the final match day. There's therefore the possibility that we could have three teams tied on six points. See if the challenge you can get just the contact between the feet of the two players. Substitution here. Fabulously against Mamalodi Sundowns. Roman Joseph coming forward from left back again. Here's the header from Juliet Sunday. The time is getting the better of TP Mazembe here. It's a good moment to get back into this game. If, uh, Seven minutes of the 90 remaining, plus a bit of stoppage time. Finishing let them down against Wadi Degla. But, uh, in truth, finishing let them down on a couple of occasions in the first half here. But not created enough, really, in this second half. It's uh, Mujinga. Kanjinga, which tried the shot and uh, didn't make contact with the ball. Made contact with Glory Edith instead. Okay. Don't do not die, not die. Yeah. 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 
showcasing the strength of Nigerian football it's fair to say this evening of course uh, the winner of the CAF Women's Player of the Year is the Nigerian star Sisanta Oshuala Barcelona one of the leading club sides in Europe were the Women's Club of the Year. Player of War, which uh, first Sebastien was nominated for. She wasn't the winner in the end as the shot comes in. Saved by Brigitte Benitez, it was a good badu. Sakas ladies, and a war. Sakas ladies, of course, they're the runners up in the Inaugural CAF Women's Champions League, beaten by the Mamelodi Sundowns uh, in Cairo in November last year. For another change here for uh, Bielsa Queens. Mary Adiremi is getting ready to come on. Of the 
Nigerian team in the recent uh, under 17 Women's World Cup uh, in India going into the quarterfinals. We've seen young players. again looking to finally finish this game off the uh, free kick given away All right, the final minute now of three added minutes at the end of the game by Elsa Queens uh, comfortable maybe be a little bit disappointed that they didn't add to their uh, lead in the second half ultimately seen a penalty in the first minute of the game but, uh, not doing enough to get back into the contest Here comes the cross it's cleared away picked up by Zumba Nigeria coming third, it was at number 17, their World Cup uh, in India recently. And uh, Bielsa Queens are on course for the semi finals of uh, this uh, Champions League. They've got their campaign up and running after a narrow defeat against Mamalodi Sundowns in the opening match. And uh, very much deserved winners here this evening. Taking the lead from a fourth minute penalty converted by Ogoma Joseph, the foul that led to the penalty happening. 20 seconds into the game, and Bielsa Queens never really looked back after that. We got the second goal through Pohamalu midway through the first half. They had chances to add to their lead, 
and really they just uh, comfortably saw the game out in the second half. TP Mazempe rarely threatening, and Marcelo Cadiamba's team, after an opening victory against uh, Wadi Degla, this is a, a setback for them. And they are joined on the three point mark by Bielsa Queens, and TP Mazempe now have to play Mamelodi Sundowns, the holders in their final group game to keep their hopes of uh, a semi-final place alive. By Elsa Queens will be confident as they prepare to play Wadi Degla, who bottom of the group, beaten earlier today, 5-0 by Mamelodi Sundowns. Not such a big victory for By Elsa Queens here in the second game of the day, but uh, it could have been more than the final 2-0 margin. So TP Mazempe nil, By Elsa Queens 2. It finishes here in Marrakesh. Match day 2 of uh, the 2022 CAF Women's Champions League coming to an end. We're going to get some reaction, we hope, from uh, pitch side, from star player of the match, uh, very shortly. Ange Gabriel Bau in goal for Pielsa Queens, winning plenty of plaudits, not the only one who impressed this evening. And we're going to hear from her.